can take on 100,000 protesters, I can do the same across the world. Now, as we told you at the top of the show, Governor Walker is under the lens after that comment made last night in a CPAC speech. He was asked a question about combating ISIS, and his response has raised quite a few eyebrows. Here to give us a little bit of perspective is Chuck Todd from NBC's Meet the Press. And Chuck, with a possible 2016 presidential run hanging in the balance here, making a bold comparison between union protesters and ISIS has obviously upset many. Do you think this will have an effect on Governor Walker's possible presidential campaign? Well, you know, by the way, I think we should get rid of the possible. I know legally it's still possible, but he is running. I think this is a welcome to the NFL moment for, for Governor Walker. The fact of the matter is, on one hand, he's clearly uh, one of the early front runners. Uh, he's being treated like one by his fellow opponents. Uh, I thought the most fascinating part of what we saw yesterday was the reaction from other Republicans who are jealous of the fact that Walker's the one that's become the leading anti-Jeb Bush candidate. You know, you sort of, it's Walker, it's Jeb Bush, and everybody else. And he was getting grief from Rick Perry, from Bobby Jindal, from, you know, from a whole bunch of fellow Republicans. And it's a reminder, on one hand, if you're Scott Walker it's a, and you're getting attacked by fellow Republicans, it means you must be ahead. On the other one, I think he's, we're still learning, he's... He's uh, not that nimble yet. This is the second time in a week that he's kind of been tripped up in an unscripted moment. And that is, you know, that's, this is early on the trail, early part of the presidential race. Um, but this is the stuff that the spotlight is on and the, uh, the campaign is, is pretty intense. He's going to have to learn to become a little more nimble on some of these because, uh, again, that was an unscripted moment of Q&A. So, Chuck, let me ask you this. So, good publicity, bad publicity, it doesn't matter at this point for Governor Walker? Well, look, he can't afford a lot of these. I think he's got some more margin for error, for instance, than a Jeb Bush, oddly enough, because, look, there is a lot of excitement about uh, Scott Walker in the conservative base. In many cases, in many ways, I was there yesterday at CPAC. It, he, this was Scott Walker's crowd. There is a, there's almost a cocoon of protection for him. Uh, and, he, and th they are willing to let him make mistakes and protect him. So, uh, look, he, not all bad publicity is good publicity right now, but he's, this stuff isn't hurting him yet. All right, Chuck, thanks for that perspective. Again, you can catch Chuck Todd on Meet the Press every Sunday morning at 10 o'clock right here on NBC.